let's dive into the laser engraving that you do because it's a pretty cool niche, I think, for no, you. selling stuff on Amazon. You do a little bit of Amazon custom, but then you also do mm-hmm. where you're creating the laser engraved products, sending them into FBA and selling them there. So tell us a little bit about how you got into that and and what that looks like. Sure. So I'll use the example of a phone case. It's not a phone case, but let's just say I laser engrave designs on the phone case. So my first product was a quote unquote phone case. And so, and again, not a phone case. I don't even know that I could engrave this with my engraver, but Mm -hmm. basically let's just say it was a phone case. And then I had said to my supplier, like way back in the day, Hey, I want to sell other phone cases. Do you have other colors, other things I could do? Like, oh, we can engrave, you know, designs on the phone case. And so I started developing a catalog of, quote, phone cases that had different designs on them. The challenge I was finding is as the catalog got bigger and I'm ordering from China, after COVID, it went from, you know, three weeks to airship, Mm -hmm. you know, two, three weeks to airship to sometimes it was taking two months to ship Mm. by boat and then the turnaround times to have it shipped from the warehouse because they couldn't always necessarily bring everybody in to their uh, factories that it was taking, you know, longer lead time. So sometimes just to get the product would be over three months. And I'm like, well, that's a lot of cash just sitting there that I, you know, paying for up front. And then, you know, some products did really well for a period of time and then they got slower. And so they were become slow moving products, but you know, if they're selling five a month, it might be worth it, but maybe five a month for some products became two a month. And then maybe they would sell pretty decent at the holiday season. Mm -hmm. So, you know, then some years of the holiday season, they sold really well and then sold, didn't sell well. So it was getting harder and harder to manage it. And then they're giving me kind of minimum quantities per design. And so then it became, well, this is getting really hard and I'm carrying a lot of inventory just to keep up with this. And some products move really quickly and some they die. And so then I end up sitting on a lot of inventory because all of a sudden that product just stops moving. And so I got to find some other way to manage this. And so I was like, why don't I just order the quote unquote phone case itself, get, you know, let the phone case be the bottleneck, not the design. And then I can engrave on the back of the phone case. Mm -hmm. And so then I started putting my designs on it and using the laser engraver and so you know hiring staff like i've got somebody coming in for an interview actually after this um after we finish recording here um and showing her like hey this is what we do you know seeing if it would be a good fit for her because yes it costs me more money to have a u.s employee engrave than it does a somebody in china but i don't have to carry as much And I'm actually still in process over the last years of kind of scaling back how much inventory I actually have to keep in stock at a time because I can send in small quantities, although not as small quantities as I used to because of the low inventory fee. (laughs) Yeah, there you go, for sure. So you essentially, you've got your warehouse back there. Mm -hmm. You've got a large laser engraving machine. So you take the phone case that you're using as an example, you put it in the machine, you have artwork created and it just lasers on whatever image you want on there. Yeah, exactly. And so depending on the product and the material that we're engraving, it's usually anywhere between like, let's say 45 seconds and five minutes to engrave a product. And so kind of start backing the math of like, okay, the employee can do X amount. And then my goal is to buy another machine so to alleviate some of that bottleneck mm-hmm. uh, before the holiday season 